What's up, everybody? It's the Roundtable Sports Podcast. Today, we're taking a look back at Mike Davis and his top 25 plays in 2020 for the Carolina Panthers. And of course, Mike has done some team switching in the 2021 offseason. And certainly, the Falcons are a pass-heavy team you know, with their history, but a new regime and Arthur Smith means that they're probably going to try and reestablish the runs. And I like the odds of Arthur Smith being able to establish the run better schematically as a guy that has been able to do so in the past. I know that Mike isn't Derrick Henry, but Big Mike still runs with plenty of power As you can see, you can run him through the tackles, but he's also capable of taking it to the edge and making defenses pay. He's a solid goal line back with a nose for the end zone for fantasy owners, so you don't have to worry about someone coming in and taking his goal line carries because Big Mike runs tough, Big Mike runs strong. You're probably best advised to get off the train tracks when Mike is coming through because he will lower his shoulder and run you over. But as you can also see, he's shifty and he has enough moves where he doesn't have to run you over. He can do other things, and that's what you want in your running back is you want him to be able to and have the strength to run through somebody, but also have the shiftiness to not have to and have the vision to set himself up in situations where He's able to find open field and he's able to get extra yards for his team. You want to see your running back getting those extra yards, whether it's with his strength or speed. That's why you got to look at the combo of those two things for these different running backs and figure out how much they have of East to really get a feel for how good they are. And yeah, it might have taken Big Mike a little bit of time to find a team that's willing to feature him as their running back, but I think he's earned it to this point. He has all the requisite skills to run between the tackles. He has all the requisite skills to take it outside the tackles. Then you throw in the fact that he was able to do an admirable Christian McCaffrey impression last year and catch the ball out of the backfield. That allows your team to be multiple and do whatever it needs to do with that running back on the field so you don't tip your hand. So throw all that together, what do you have? A new regime that needs to establish the run with one running back that's really capable of doing so in an offense with a capable quarterback that's able to get third downs and complete drives on a team that lost a ton of one-score games. I mean, what else do you need to see from Mike other than to watch this film and see how tough he runs? The effort level that he gives is tremendous, and he's given it every step of the way, regardless of how many teams it's been. I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do in 2021. He may not offer the same upside in his athleticism as some of the shiftier or faster backs, but... I do think that Mike has what it takes to carry an NFL offense as much as they're going to need him in this year. So to get him at the back end of the fourth round or the front end of the fifth round in fantasy drafts is something I'm going to be targeting because there's every bit the fantasy football situation brewing here for Mike Davis. It might be a volume play, but the talent is there.